Yeah, I got some more home buyer scams for you. I mean, they're technically not really scams. You can pay for them and their services, but they just don't tell you it's really a service. They prey on a lot of first time home buyers, um, move, you know, downsizing buyers that haven't bought or sold a property in 20 or 30 years, and just people that purchased a home that don't know what to look for and are worried they're gonna miss something, okay? I always tell my buyers at the closing table, I'm like, hey, if you ever get something, and this is not just for the Denver metro area, which is what I service, and the South Metro Denver area, this is for any state anywhere in the US. Happens all the time. Happened to me when I bought my house in Texas. Um, happened as soon as I bought houses here. Every time I buy a house, it happens. It's just been a while since I've gotten one. So I'm like, yay, I have examples to show y'all. So I'll link to a video up above and down below if it's posted on one that I already shot about a month ago with the first couple that I got. And um, this first one, yellow on yellow paper is what I always look forward to. Cause I always tell my people, hey, if you get something that looks really official, but you're not really sure what it is, but it's on like yellow paper or pink paper, especially maybe blue paper. I've seen that a lot in the past. Let me know. I'm happy to tell you what it is. If you need to worry about it, if it's real, if it's not all that kind of stuff, because a lot of this stuff is very misleading, intentionally misleading, really pisses me off. But we're gonna go over the two I got today because I just think these are fun and I want y'all to see them. So when you see them, you're like, oh, that was that thing that Stacy was talking about, that realtor Stacy mentioned. Yeah, because they're crap. <laughs> so, like I said, there's services you can pay for and I'm sure there's certain people where it makes sense, but they don't tell you that's really what it is. So I'm gonna go over the little one first. Came in a little bitty envelope, right? And you can see the yellow through the, the shield in the front or through the um, window in the envelope. It says, final notice. Mortgage protection card. Please provide information on your affordable mortgage home protection program, which can complete my mortgage payments in the event of my death. So this is a real thing. And I'll link to a video, old video. Whoa, really old. Um, up above and down below on mortgage. It was MIP versus MPI versus PMI. So this one, I believe, is mortgage protection insurance. Um, MPI. Yes, this is the MPI. So, because even I have to stop and think about it because they all use the same letters and three different acronyms and they all mean three different things. But check that video out if you want more information. So this is essentially mortgage protection insurance. Essentially just says, hey, if you die, this will pay off your mortgage, okay? Versus, you know, your heirs selling your home and paying it off that way um, or something else happening or someone buying you out. And now that this is the second or third item that I've gotten with my name wrong, I now know that county records recorded my name wrong on the deed. <laughs> um, or the deed was right from the title company, but county records recorded it wrong and typed it in wrong. So thanks for that. I'm going to get stackle addressed information for, I don't know, the next 20 years for this property instead of Stacey. But anyway, so essentially that's, that's what it is. It had the mortgage amount on there. Um, it has the lender on there because they know who the loan's through because that's recorded with the county records. And it just has a little card that says like, here's your date of birth, male, female, used tobacco, home, home phone, cell phone, work phone, whatever. And then notice of mortgage payoff program, which is what it is. So, but as a homeowner, you may qualify for this new low cost mortgage home protection program. This program will provide a check for your family to pay off your mortgage in the event of, in bed, you or your spouse should die before your mortgage has been paid off. So, but it says, thank you, Mortgage Protection Customer Service Department. There is no company name anywhere, like no website, God, no phone number even. That's a new one. Usually they at least put a phone number. Um, because they want it to look official. They don't want it to look like an ad. So they just want to make you feel like, oh my God, I have I have to fill it out, send it back, because they said it's a final notice. I, I, I got to do it, right? The only thing that indicates that this is a business of any sort, really, is who the reply mail is addressed to National Homeowner Services in McKinney, Texas. I know where McKinney is because I'm from Texas, but... Um, but there's no other website, no phone number, no nothing, no cost, no anything. So it is strictly a solicitation, okay? But it looks really official, right? Um, but it's mortgage protection card. And they make it small because cards should be small, right? Anyway, so that was a fun one. I wanted to show you that. Um, the next one, this was a new one. It looks like a check right? Like, looks like a check. It says county deed records on the top. Registration fee voucher, $199. Shit, even the back, guys. Like, sorry about my language. Anyway, even the back, like, has the little, you know, endorsement, mobile deposit, fingerprint security, and, you know, holding an angle to view under blacklight and all this garbage. And literally, I know it's mirrored, but I don't care. It says, this is not a check. 
There's, there's no account number on there. There's no routing number. They have fingerprint check and, you know, at the top, this check is void without a colored border and background, plus a night and fingerprint watermark on the back. Hold angle to view. Well, there's my night and fingerprint watermark, which I don't have to hold at an angle to view. It's pink. But yeah, so it straight up looks like a check and then underneath in fine print, this is not a check. Okay, then what the hell is it, right? So final notice, lender info classified for privacy from Home Warranty Direct Home Warranty Department. It has a notice date and a contact phone number. Like I said, this one actually has a phone number. Most of them don't. It has a record ID number. It has a respond by date. It has a deadline, final notice. Call to verify the above information before the respond date expires. So immediate response requested. All of this stuff, bold letters, look official. Call these number or call this number, respond by with a record ID and all this jazz. No website, no business name other than, you know, home warranty direct. But like, that's all it says. But this letter is to inform you that the property's home warranty at blah, 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 blah address secured by classified for privacy. It's public record, guys. It's on the deed. It's on the um, deed of trust. It's recorded at county. May be expiring or have already expired. Our records indicate that you have not contacted us yet to get your home warranty up to date. Please call immediately as this will be our final attempt to notify you. <gasps> oh, no. So without a home warranty in place, you're at risk of being financially liable for any and all repairs. Yeah, welcome to home ownership. That's kind of how that works. Um, but you do have hazard insurance to protect you from major catastrophic hazards. However, you will still have time left to activate a warranty on your home before it's too late. No inspection will be required and final acceptance is subject to your availability to meet eligibility requirements. So we, rev we reserve the right to revoke your eligibility for service coverage after five days. So it scares people. These are meant to scare people into buying shit they don't need. Makes me angry. Okay. So everybody's got to pay the bills. Scaring people into doing things they don't need because they misleading people is not how I want to pay mine. And it frustrates me. So anyway, just to let you know what's out there on these homebuyer scams, like I mentioned, we'll link to the other one up above and down below after it's posted on a couple others that I've gotten. So that's now four on this property. Um, if you do not know what it is that you're getting after you buy a house, call your agent. Text us a picture of this and say, is this real? Do I need to do it? Should I be worried? What did I screw up? Chances are, we'll look at it and be like, oh no, that's garbage. They just make it look really official, right? Like, yeah, they scare you. So anyway, um, feel free to reach out to me if you have these questions in the Denver metro area. I would love to be your go-to real estate resource. I love helping my buyers. I love helping my sellers. And I always give my buyers a heads up on this at the closing table, guys, because nine times out of 10, you're going to get them. And like I said, I just closed on a house and I got four of them. So first time buyers, um, downsizing buyers, anyone that hasn't bought a property in a while, it's really scary when you don't know what these things are. So let me know if you have any questions, if you've gotten some fun ones, or I'm curious what other people are getting. If you were like, oh wow, this was really rich, put that down below in the comments. I think that'd be fun to kind of see what people are getting. Um, if this was helpful or you were worried about these or you're like, oh, I never even thought about those or yeah, I just got one of those and I found your video because I didn't realize they were crap, but thank you for telling me they're crap. Um, hit the like button. That'll help other people find it so other people don't end up trying to cash a fake check that the bank's going to be like, yeah, this isn't a real check. And by the way, it's garbage. Um, or fall prey to paying $100 a month for mortgage protection insurance they don't need if they have some other um, ways to pay off those in the event of a situation. So anyway, feel free to reach out. My contact information is down below. If you found it helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if I get any more of these guys, you can bet I'm going to shoot videos on them because they're hilarious. So thanks so much for the time and have a great day.